this is Thierry Bézier for Intruders TV. I'm with Hendrik Meerman from Cobalt Biofuels. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Can you tell us uh, briefly what it is about? Okay, so uh, Cobalt Biofuels is a biobutanol company. We're uh, 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 generating, we have technology for the production of biofuel uh, for butanol. Um, uh, butanol was a uh, historically made uh, for many years. It was the second largest fermentation behind ethanol fermentation. Uh, it was uh, originally uh, developed in the First World War. Uh, and produced uh, globally. Um, uh, we, uh, uh, when the price of oil went down in the, in the 60s, it, it made it uneconomical to be produced from, uh, from sugar sources, which is predominantly what it was made from. Um, and uh, so we'll, uh, now with the price of oil going up, uh, obviously there's a, a different motivation uh, and uh, um, uh, economic driver on, on that. Uh, so we have technology um, that we apply the, uh, uh, the tools of biotechnology that have been developed uh, um, uh, over the last 30 years to the production of uh, biobutanol. Um, uh, specifically, we have imaging technology where we create in our, our strains a, uh, a sensor, uh, which then we detect the uh, uh, formation of light that correlates with butanol formation, and that allows us to optimize the production of butanol uh, continuously in, in, in the fermentation. And then we also have energy, uh, um, efficient energy uh, technology. So, so we have separation technology, which reduces the cost of energy separation in the historical process uh, by about 50% or at least 50%. And we, um, uh, with, with the combination of the optimization of the fermentation conditions with our, our, our sensor detector technology and the energy efficiency of our separation technology allows us to reduce the cost. Um, uh, uh, to uh, a much uh, much more uh, economical solution uh, to, to biofuels. So, uh, as you said, now that the price of the oil is uh, rising up, yes. uh, now it's important to, for the green technology to be here. Uh, why is it important for you to be here, actually? Is the, how big is the market for you? How can so, you so that, already... Yeah, think the, about the, the market for, for biofuels is, is, is huge. Uh, um, uh, liquid, liquid fuels for tr the transportation sector uh, are the uh, um, obviously the the most uh, uh, it's the most portable and, and, and easily utilized uh, 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 fuel. Uh, there's a lot of other competing fuel technologies which I think are very good, but in it, uh, before those can really uh, come around, uh, liquid fuels are, are most important. Um, and uh, uh, there's a lot of focus now on the on the use of, uh, of uh, uh, what what's the feedstock uh, uh, and, and whether you take away from food. Our technology is is uh, uh, independent of uh, food sources, so we use non-food sources of feedstock to uh, to produce our biofuel, uh, and we produce a very uh, 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 butanol is a very flexible uh, uh, fuel uh, compared to ethanol. It has a higher energy value. It's more compatible with the existing enzyme uh, um, uh, engine and. Uh, um, um, distribution infrastructure, it can go directly into pipelines, it can be blended up to 100%, uh, and so it is a, a much better alternative. Uh, it's very interesting because uh, everybody is concerned about the, the food, actually the lack of food, and it's interesting to see that your technology is not using it. Yes. And um, What about the, the competition here in Europe? Isn't it too risky for a company like you from California to, to come to Europe uh, uh, with uh, all the, the historical uh, a tryout of bio uh, fuels or so. Um, well, I, I, think there's, I think there's I think there's two aspects to that. One is uh, you know obviously we're focused initially in the uh, uh, in the U.S. Uh, this is our uh, uh, here at the at the, the Transatlantic Green Platform is our first entree into uh, accessing the European market. Uh, we want to establish, uh, identify, and establish uh, potential partners in this market as we expand and grow because it's a, it's obviously a global a global problem. Um, and uh, uh, so, so that's uh, secondly, uh, I think Europe uh, is is really ahead of the game um, uh, on, a, on a on a global basis in terms of thinking green. So 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 playing in the uh, in, in this market is very important part of our, our strategy as we as we expand. And uh, can you consider Europe has to be a, a production place or so? I, I, I believe I believe so. Uh, our our. Our business model uh, has to do with uh, uh, relatively distributed uh, uh, production using regional feedstocks. So um, uh, uh, whatever uh, 
we want to make fuel in the places where it's being utilized, uh, close to, uh, so you don't have to, you minimize the transportation of the fuel to the user, uh, as well as capitalizing on the, on the regional diversity of feedstocks uh, um, that are available. So, in other words, uh, you don't just use corn that's made in the Midwest and, and then ship your, uh, your biofuel everywhere. You might uh, use uh, um, uh, sugar beets that are made in, in, in Canada or uh, um, uh, sweet sorghum, which is another one of our favorite feedstocks that are made in other 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 locations. So, so the uh, uh, and and we're going and we're expanding beyond those. Those are our initial targets. But uh, so uh, I'd be interested in, in hearing what are the, the favorite feedstocks uh, or potential feedstocks in, in in Europe in various regions. So we are here at the California Tech Showcase. Uh, why? It was important for you to be here, and what are you expecting from this conference? So, so uh, the uh, uh, we were invited here. Uh, um, uh, one of our uh, financial investors um, uh, uh, offered our offered us a, as a, a potential here, and then uh, uh, the uh, uh, the organizers uh, uh, invited us to participate. Uh, we felt it was very important to uh, again to uh, make an entree into uh, to, to start making rela establishing relationships with uh, uh, you know uh, potential partners uh, both on the financial side and as well as on the uh, 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 the feedstock and distribution side uh, in, in Europe and, and, and beyond. And uh, so far, we are almost at half of the first day. Uh, how do you feel about it? Uh, how, what's your feeling about this conference? Um, I, I'm actually uh, been very excited by the uh, the reception that we've gotten, uh, the uh, the amount of contacts that I've been able to make so far. So, so uh, you can expect why not to to go back home with some uh, a key partnership or even well, new customers? At least, at, at least we'll have some. Uh, um, you know, have begun the discussions because I, I definitely have, uh, have established some uh, some contacts with uh, with different um, uh, different potential partners that uh, that we we can definitely have those discussions uh, ongoing. It's closing the deal uh, here at the conference is probably not going to happen. Yeah. About your company in 2008, what are your goals? What are your objectives for this year? So, so we're uh, we've established our proof of concept uh, on our technology, uh, and uh, we're we're scaling up right now. Uh, we're uh, building a pilot plant, and uh, we have a very aggressive commercialization timeline. And uh, uh, so that's why it's important that we start talking with partners uh, uh, now, both on the uh, uh, the sourcing, on the feedstock, and on the offtake, uh, as well as potential uh, uh, different. Uh, partnership uh, strategies as we expand. Thank you very much. Thank you for all those details and uh, have a good conference. Thank you.